I feel this is my lucky day. Already, it's morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, people. So today we're going to be doing this guitar right here. This is, looks like a old Wiggles guitar to me. It's a pretty cool little one. So it has a lot of functionality as far as being a keyboard. It's just a lot of fun. And then you have demo mode. Demo mode actually kicks it into kind of like a little self-playing deal. And you see you have all 13 here. And it seems to play different songs on all of them that you hit. So it does have some functionality to it as far as like musical. It's not the typical Wiggles guitar we typically do where you have the Wiggles singing and doing all that stuff. But still, it is so super cool and I've never seen anything like this. So I'm really excited to get into this one and see what it has to offer. And you know what the first part is. We are gonna be taking the back off of it and let's get going. So I love the way this back just came off and all the bolts and stuff came with it as well. It's super simplistic how that just happened. I absolutely love it. And the board itself is also pretty simplistic. As you can see, this is kind of like older technology. Uh, we have larger resistors here, just normal size resistors that we would use. And we have an integrated circuit here feeding into this. Uh, pretty simplistic LED just right over here, not in any you know, encapsulated thing aside from these two little prongs right here. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is uh this is really cool. And I bet we might be able to find some bends right around here. We may have to pull the board up still, but Yep, so it looks like we probably will have to pull the board up. But it's really cool because we have our R2 resistor right here. We have R5 right there would be my second guess on this. This looks more like it's dealing with the LED over here, it says, which is kind of strange. Our LED is all the way over here, but the positives on the LED are, oh, yeah, so this blue wire right here. So that makes sense. And it's super cool that we also have an LED spot that we can literally put more LEDs on, although it is pretty dim. So we'll have to kind of play that one by ear. Well, let's go ahead and take these off and then we'll get to looking for bends. So it seems I was wrong about the R2 and R5. We actually have some type of resistor on this integrated circuit right here. And then that's where we're getting these tempo tone control pitch swings at. So it seems right here. So it seems like we're dealing with these three right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and solder on, or actually before I do that, I'm going to Kind of play around with some resistors and see if we can figure out uh, which points these are. I believe it's this middle one right here and these two because we're going to down pitch here and we're going to high pitch there. But we may as well go ahead and try it out and make sure.
testing some points on the ground. I think I'm going to actually have to take this battery pack off because the battery pack doesn't really show where the ground and the positive are. And I don't want to hook this up since it does crash. I don't really want to hook this up to the positive or even really risk it. So I'm going to end up taking this battery pack off. But just out of curiosity, I went ahead and connected it to the ground here on this LED. And I got this really cool effect right here with this 33K resistor. Of course it crashes, give me one second. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually flip this and put it on a switch real quick.
last part, we are going to be doing some stuff with a speaker, and that is we are going to be seeing if this is going to support a sound-activated LED, and we're also going to be adding the Pro Sound to it. But for now, we are mostly done. So we are going to go ahead and try to wrap these wires up in a little bit of a neater way. And I'm going to go ahead and put the board back to, I guess, a more suitable condition. We're going to go ahead and fold this over, and then we're going to flip this board in. And I'm going to play with these buttons a bit, just make them look a little funnier.